Okay, we are here at our home away from home, and we've got Old Faithful, the glove, that is going to go on this journey with us. Um, but today is Sunday, and last time I came on Sunday, it was a pretty decent day. So we're gonna check out today and see if it's the same. So let's go in and see what kind of treasures we can find. Oh no, it's one of these days. I had to come back out to the parking lot to get a cart. I haven't had to have that happen. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I haven't had to do that in months and months and months. So this is a bad sign, but we're going in anyway. So prepare yourself. Oh yeah, it's busy in here. It is busy. So when I came last time on Sunday, um, that's cute. Uh, it was in the morning, so that could be the Sunday sweet spot is coming in the morning, but we'll see. We'll see what we can find, even though it's packed McGee in here. <laughs> Made in Italy, Pagnosin. Nice plate, actually. Plate and barrel. Let's put that questionably in there. thing on top. But why? Was it? Or was that like that? No, I think it was supposed to be like that. That is strange. Okay, I'm putting that in here. Should I get this one too? Right. 
pottery barn. A monogrammed box. SJR. Hmm. in Italy Banelli. Hand painted glass. That well, comes in its little container. Might have to look up that one. Let me put that in there. Okay. What is this? Lennox scented candles. Italy. Oh, I have this. I am currently selling that. It has a lid. Oh, it's like a bunch of bunnies. Should I ditch them? Maybe. Who's his friend? This is branded H880. Mm, maybe. Oh. Some vintage stationery. I think I'm going to leave that. Okay, what can I... Okay. 
Okay, let's just get them for now and we'll decide. $19.99 Lois Nicole Little like Shoe ornaments I should probably look it up The stuff I don't look up is Where I get in trouble So might as well look it up Okay we got a bunch of books Let's go this way Spencer Jeremy, 100% silk. I might look that up. We got a lot of looking up to do. Oh, this is a skirt. Okay, back to the side over here. I'll find more of those. in West Germany. I'll look it up. Uh, itchy nose, itchy nose.
gosh, it's all smudged. Sophie Harding, Widow and Sons Limited, London. Hmm. Maybe I shall look that up. Made in Denmark. Looks like there's two. I get those. Some Wedgwood. Not sure what's going on there, but um, I put back the decanters with the candle things on top. So I'm pretty sure it was a DIY. Pretty sure. Um, Cause I could not find any and it looks kind of DIY because that's strange, but you know, there's weird things out there. So you never know. But yes, I put both of those back. Elsa. These are fun. This one is broken beyond broken. Geez, a lot of them are broken. People went crazy pants. Okay, what else is in here? Uh, Kirkland. Jameson. What 
what does it hold? Alcohol of some sort, I would assume. empty bin. Someone wanted seven for this. I don't know what it is, like what brand it is. leave it on because last time people were very upset I removed it. Poor Monsieur Paris. Maybe. Begalini. It's a good print, actually. Made hand painted it was originally fifteen dollars. Is that Radnor? There's like some chipping, but I don't think it's crazy. Bavaria. Crazy.
club cover. It's cute. Okay, I think uh, I'm either gonna go to the back or look at shoes. I want to go to the other side of this, but it's kind of packed, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Enterprises made in China. I don't know, but her face is looking interesting. She needs to put her pants back on. but I don't know who but it is a really cute teapot so that'll be a maybe oh I think my vase is chipped oh it is that was a nice vase too okay well let's we'll put that there for now Crystal. Maybe it's really heavy. Keep on moving down. 
See what else we can buy. This is the newest bin. Okay, let's go. I'm hyping myself up. We can do it, we can do it, okay. I'm happy.
trees. Those look like they're good condition. Splendid. Sonoma. Oh wow. Those are weapons. something in this part it's gonna be a miracle because I've got breakables like sprinkled literally all over what are you and in China um, okay I'm gonna just park my cart here for a moment and go around the other side dollars back in the day. The 
Leaf Trading Company. Just some weird pulling. I'll leave those. Ooh, vintage undies. Made in USA. People like their vintage undies. Undie shorts. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Island Attitude's 100% silk, but it is very dirty. Charter Club. <gasps> what is this sucker? Wild Fable, so Target. get that out though. Give these suckers a little oxy queen. Sonoma. Okay, I think we've got everything out of here. Is this a vintage? Grateful, right? Grateful Dead? Scarf? Maybe? Or am I making that up? I don't know. I'm gonna get it. Okay. I'm gonna go yonder. Maybe look at some shoes. And I'll be back. Actually, I looked part of it up and part of it not. I'll just get it. 
but um, I did look up some stuff. These are all really dirty shoes. <laughs> Very dirty. Charlotte Ruth. Okay, let's look at the grab bags. When I was in Portland, some lady came through and literally took all of them. Um, and then at the other one, when I went to Vancouver, there was none. So up in the Portland, Vancouver area, the, these are popular. Very, very popular. So. I think this one I saw last time. Some oil. I think because you can find um, stuff that is discontinued that people pay like good money for. Like this Clarial root touch up. Maybe it's discontinued and people are posting it for like 50 bucks. Definitely a possibility. Skin So Soft, Fresh and Smooth, Avon. They threw in some hand sanitizers. Yeah, it's just bad. I've never got one, but obviously there's some people who are super about it. There's some down here. Yardley London. Okay, let's move this here. Let's go and look at this guy. Oh my god. Savon and Deluxe. I have no idea. Maybe one day. Ooh, that one's full of Bath and Body Works. Or it has some Bath and Body Works. And some exploded Bath and Body Works. Okay, I'm gonna go out to the newish bins I haven't been to. I should look up these before I go. Um, but I'm gonna go back there since it's cleared out a little. And I'll be back to show you the stuff. Okay. 
workwear <laughs> very, very busy in here, but I found a ton of great stuff. Like, wow, a ton of great stuff. Um, I got this tote bag to see how much glass. I know many of you are probably like, please don't, but I'm gonna try to see how much I can fit in here. Mm, there's like a basket over there. Maybe I could try to fit it all in here. Last time they let me weigh the basket too. So maybe I should try to fit it in there. And then when I go to weigh the breakables, um, I can just put that in there instead of putting each individual piece. So, and then I have breakables just like spread out in my cart. It is a, it's a disaster, um, to be honest. <laughs> But let me just start going through stuff, show you what I found today. Despite the crowds, was still able to find lots and lots and lots of stuff. So let me get started. Uh, first is, it's called Leslie Hand Painted Glass. It's like a, I don't know what flower that is. I don't know if it's a poinsettia, but it is new in the box. A fun little wine glass. Well, that took up the whole container, so I'm already failing. <laughs> okay, next is a Sophie Harding Widow and Son Limited London little butterfly princess girl. And these go for like 15 to 20 ish. So we got that. Next is this little cute planter boot. Very colorful. And Goodwill is selling it for $4.99. It's actually in pretty good shape. A lot of the stuff that goes through the bins gets decimated because people are insane. But that stood the test of the bins. Okay, next, I looked this up. This is Harry and David. It's a little mini teapot and they look to do okay 
15 to 20 but again that'll be glass price so that'll be 70 cents a pound um next is a wedgwood england 1956 little heart dish not really sure what's going on in the picture but secrets okay next for breakables i have two of these different scenes they are Brugs Sven Nielsen Kunst, Denmark. I think I pronounced it wrong earlier. And I'm probably still pronouncing it wrong. Someone in Denmark is like, please stop. Please, for the love, stop. Okay, and here's the second one. A naked lady. Okay, so we got those two. So let's add that to our basket. Okay, next is a set of Louise Nicole or Louis Nicole um, little shoe ornaments from 1999. So those are vintage and pretty lightweight. So let's give that a go. Next is this funky plate. It is crate and barrel made in Mexico like a good funky plate okay i was gonna get this if i could find multiples but i couldn't i could only find the one it's windy ridge logging town in washington vintage postcard maybe i'll just get it and throw it in someone's package okay let's move this okay one moment Okay, we're back. Next is a Henry Matisse stamps, and then it is signed by Henry Matisse. Um, that might be good. It, it's possible it might be good. I couldn't find anything like it, but it looks high end. Anyways, so that is also going to be glass price. So 79 cents a pound on that one. Okay, next, I got a decent amount of fabrics. Let me just get all my fabrics. Okay, first I have this chunk. It is Authentic Waverly, screen print, dry clean, recommended. This fancy shopping lady, Paris. Um, so I got a chunk of that. And then I got, this is like um, felt almost. But I have four of those. We have this print, this fun bunny print, uh, frogs. Are you going? Oh, okay, good. You deserve it. Maybe. I'll see you tomorrow if I'm here. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, I love a parade with a spicy little cat mouse, bear, whatever you want. Um, but those are all material, which I haven't found like material, uh, chunks in quite a while. So it was nice to find some material actually. Okay, let's keep going. Next is a vintage Cosmel Be Different single stitch. I'm pretty sure it's single stitch. Yes, it is single stitch. Is it single stitch? No, it's definitely machine stitched. Anyways, um, Cosmel Be Different shirt. It is vintage. I don't know if it's vintage single stitch, but it's a cute shirt. Be the red gecko even though he probably burned out in the sun. Okay, next is a pair of vintage Z Cavarici overalls made in USA, size medium. They are in pristine condition. It's strange. They were just sitting on top of the bins, like someone threw them back. Why would you do that? Okay, it's probably what people say about like all the stuff I throw back. Next is a rain spooner, 100% cotton, Hawaiian dress. I have sold the 
Hawaiian shirts from Rain Spooner, but not dressed before. I mean, it looks like there's a little funk there, but I think I can get that out, no problem. And this is cotton, so it's easily washable. Tailored in Hawaii. So we're going to get that. Next is a vintage, reversible, really fun 90s jacket. Casual aisle, size large. Very fun. Fun print. Well, this side's kind of boring, but this side is fun. Okay, next is another crazy print. It is... Maggie Sweet Polyester. I think it's made in USA. Uh, yes, made in USA 1X. Crazy, bright, fun print. So, getting that. Okay, this. Whoa. Stay. This is. Release yourself. Um, true grit size large, like a Sherpa interior. Faux suede green exterior jacket. These look to do pretty well, so I got that. Next is like a patenty, very strange. Goodwill is selling it for $6.99, but it's crate and barrel. Little patent bag with pearl, kind of like a pearlescent handle. Okay, okay, next is this. Oh, her pants are falling off, or skirt, whatever. Um, vintage doll. Let me see if I, oh. Creations Katie Porta Plata. RD, what's RD? Porta Plata. Um, let me get her clothes back on. Okay, and we got her, and then we got her little uh, bibby, which I don't know if it's like supposed to be like this, maybe? I think it's adorable. Oh, her skirt's falling off again. Okay, well, I gotta fix that, but. Um, I think this will be breakable too, because I think their faces uh, are breakable, but I love them. Okay. What next, what next? Next is a dance bowl and plate with a leaf pattern. It is made in Portugal. Oh, sometimes they have like the name of the pattern, but that is the leaf pattern. I have named it. Okay, next is Hello Draylon. Made in West Germany, Thai. I don't pick up a ton of ties anymore because they are very slow selling, but they are very lightweight, so sometimes it's not too bad to pick one up. Next, I think, is an apron. It's definitely been used, but it's very cute. I know. I like it. Okay, so we got that. Next! I don't know if this is Grateful Dead. It looks vintage. It has like a bunch of crackleys on it, but there's no like branding. And I don't know if it's Grateful Dead for sure, but I feel this bear kind of is. But, I don't know. I'll look it up and see. Maybe we got a good one there. Okay, next is Rock Revival, size 28. Goodwill is selling this for $6.99. They do need to be washed. It looks like someone stepped on them, maybe. But I'll just do a little washy wash of that. It's not a big deal. Next is a pair of Eddie Bauer, size 14. Car like lightweight cargo pants. Goodwill was selling them for 
$9.99. Cargo pants are again popular, so we're gonna get that. Next, a vintage pair of undie shorts. <laughs> I don't know, people like their vintage underwear. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, what can I move without breaking something? Okay, this I didn't look up yet, but it is a bowl that's kind of unmarked. It looks like there's just some numbers on there. It's very cute. Little lemon bowl. Um, oh no, there's a massive chip. Okay, ignore that. Um, next is a very heavy Waterford crystal. I'm getting some major fingerprints on it, but picture frame, it looks to have survived the bins, surprisingly. But we got that, which I'm going to need to put with all my breakables. Okay, next for breakables is one seed <laughs> Bavaria porcelain. I love this kind of actually. It looks like a sea urchin. Okay, that is breakable. I don't know where to put some of this. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, next I have a set of two of these. They are Aramis. I don't know why I rolled my R, it just seemed natural. Um, but I looked this up and it looks like a cologne brand, but I couldn't find anything like this. And it looks like a pretty popular cologne, vintage. So I don't know, I have two of these though. So I think I might need to get them. Okay, let me put this stuff there, there. Okay, let's just Try not to break those. Next is a vintage box. I love a good vintage box. Um, no markings. I don't know. It's not like super heavy, but I don't know. I'm going for vintage, you know? Oh, I see the handles missing on this side. Hmm. Does that matter? I mean, I'll probably hammer those suckers in, but it's still a really cute box. Okay, that's a question mark. Okay, what can I move without breaking something? Next is a bagelini, because every time I go to the bins, I need to bring home a bagelini. And this one's a fun print, too. I like that bagelini. Okay, this, I don't usually get uh, Wilson's leather, but don't slime on the bunnies. But I, I liked this one. I like the Kiss Lock purse. Wilson's leather Maxima. Inside's in pretty good shape. I don't think it's vintage. It's just cute. Just cute. Okay. Um, let me show you the bunnies. So I have a set of three pink-eyed bunnies and they actually I think they survived I mean they haven't survived me yet but they've survived the bins usually I'm less brutal than the bins so so we got a trio of bunnies I'm just gonna set that purse on top of there okay to look these up. The brand is made or may or M4DE. I think it's made though. But it is a leather wedge with a tie ankle. Oh gosh, don't break anything. Uh, what does that say? Wear kindness? I don't know. It's a mystery, but I'll find out before I leave so I don't check out with something I don't want. Okay, next is a large, very, very large. I think it's a camera bag, but these are like my favorite 
And I'm pretty sure this is leather. Uh, it needs a good cleaning. And I tried to lift this up to see what was underneath, but I was unsuccessful. Oh, there. I just didn't try hard enough. It's like a dual layer. It has a little claspy bob. I love I love these bags. There's a lot of things I love though. Okay. Next is a Brats Bratislava. Bratislava. Um Modra Majolica. Goodwill was selling it for a $6.99. It's a very nice looking plate. Also a survivor of the bins. Next, not sure about this one. It's kind of bubbly. You can see that. But it is Laura Ashley. Made in USA. Vintage little duffel. Okay, as I destroy everything. It looks like maybe someone put it in the washer. Yeah, it looks like someone maybe put it in the washer to try to clean it. But I'll probably still get it. Probably still getting it if I'm being honest. Okay, can I get these out without destroying things? Good question indeed. Okay, last few items. A Carol Reed vintage dress, long sleeve. Button down, Goodwill is selling it for $6.99. Love a good vintage dress. Next is a Spencer Jeremy size 1600% silk dress. Also amazed-tastic. There's a little spot there. But love that. Okay, I think this is last, actually. We have a copper grape jello mold slash whatever else you want to mold. And that's what I'm sticking with what it is. <laughs> um, some of these do really well. I'm not sure about the grape pattern. I might look it up to double check, but usually those do pretty good, so. Okay. My nose is like on 20 with itchiness. Okay, I think I got everything. We got it all. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you could give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. It helps in all the ways that YouTube wants. It helps people find the videos and all of those wonderful things. I will be digging around some more soon. I have plans to be here local at my local bins and then Portland, Vancouver, some Goodwill stores, not the outlets, but I'm mostly at the outlets to be honest. It's pretty much my home. Some of the workers know who I am and that means you're part of the Goodwill family at that point. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you all coming with for this journey of thrifting. I'm always out looking for treasure, treasures to resell because that's just the thing I do that I love the most. All right, until the next one, I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, it was like a Miss Myers yeah. hand sanitizer. <laughs> so that is terrifying, but also intriguing. Did someone paint over? Oh yeah, I think someone painted over. I don't think he was originally like that. Fun. Oh, 
that. Sakura. Someone's family photo. of little Christmassy ornaments. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the other side. Behind. Okay, more new bins. Oh my gosh, they're like all breakable. Take a peek at the newish bins. Andrew Beza. Made in Colombia. Camel hair. Alright, I'll look up Andrew Beza and then I'm going to the newbies. Interesting, they took a plate and made it 
a plant. I'll have to put a battery in it to see if it works, I guess. I mean, very inventive. There we go. Okay, let's take these. Like a partially done or maybe fully done portrait. Oh, I missed some down here. JFY import, but it's very broken. Trivet. glove back on. I am touching a whole lot of nasties and I am not happy about it. Hometown teapot cottages. Still looking at it. It won't come off either. I tried. It's cute. It has its little cup. Or mm, that one's really cracked. Mama Ro. That is signed. go instead of like really piling my cart. Style 
is by Foam Brothers. Noel's Chalet. I'm actually going now. I think it's time. Ooh, what are you? A lion care bear? I might need this. Okay, off I go.